One, two, three, go. Hi everyone, this is Odyssey. Welcome back to my channel. It would just be a little chit chat today. Uh, first of all, I want you to know that I'm very thankful for all of the support that you're giving me, especially whenever you drop by comments in my vlogs that you can relate or you're inspired in your own journey to Papunta Dito sa Deutschland. One of the reasons why I am creating vlogs is for you not to feel alone. I hope I can be that someone or your big ate to cheer you up na sasabihin sa'yo na hindi ka nag-iisa, na valid yung nararamdaman mo na lungkot, na discomfort kasi we are undergoing changes. <laughs> Back in 2021, nung bago ako dito sa Deutschland, I was also on that place, I was also on that place of confusion, of self-doubt, Balik na lang pa ako sa Pilipinas. Baka hindi para sa akin sa Germany. Ang dami ng iba't ibang mainong. Ang dami ng hindi ko alam. Balik, ul balik ulit ako sa nursing. Nagsa-struggle ako sa language. Mamush, nakaka-overwhelmed naman. I have a video created before in which I shared uh, my struggle as well, especially during my first year. So do check the link on the description box below. Tipong kasi biglang na iba yung mundo na ginagalawan mo. Like we're all used to living in the Philippines with our family and friends, and then we dreamed. Gusto natin ng something na bago. Really, walang maling mangarap. Um, you know that saying, it's nice to dream but the hustle is sold separately? I want you to understand that it's a whole process and more than being excited na yay, andito na ako sa Germany, kailangan din natin pagdaanan yung lungkot, especially during that adjustment period. I was reading a book today. Uh, this was 101 essays that will change the way you think. And that's the main reason why I stopped by and really wanted to reflect in my own journey dito sa Germany. Like, paano nga ba ako nakapag-adjust? I remember when I was completely new during my adjustment phase, I was constantly on that loop na this was not the life I have known my life to be. Coming from a place of working in a corporate setting for nine years, I am used to wearing heels dressing up that office kind of vibe and then moving here in Deutschland started working as a nurse in a senior home settings I care for elderly I wash them up I changed their diapers so that dirty work so to speak it was all unfamiliar to me also pagdating ko dito I first lived in Wohngemeinschaft VG which is a shared apartment with other Filipinos then Hindi ko sila lahat kilala. I was trying to get to know them individually para makavibe yung iba't ibang personalities namin. I uh, was longing for my own circle of friends sa Pilipinas. Tipong, yung tipong pinagtibay na ng panahon. Those people na I have known through the years. All of these are my resistance to change. And then I remember one day, I had this realization na Girl, this is your new life now. So it's either you deal with it or you fight through the change. And ever since then, mas madali akong nakapag-adjust. I'm sharing this to you to at least uh, give you comfort, especially if nalulungkot ka, naguguluhan ka. I can still imagine how hard it had been for me and I cannot imagine the place you're also going through then this time. But I hope I can connect with you by sharing my vulnerability. I want you to know that there are better days and your emotions will pass. I like journaling because it makes me confront my emotions. It's as if I'm looking at it as a third person. So, bakit ka girl malungkot today? How can I support you? Ano yung comfort na kailangan mo today? I have learned how to be kind to myself. Tipong halimbawa may lakad ako with friends but then I feel tired. My body feels tired kasi sunod-sunod yung deans. Ang dami kong ginagawa. I don't need to feel guilty if I need to cancel out. Or that feeling of missing out kasi hindi ako nakasama. When I choose to be around people, then you'd be sure na I am present 100% mentally and physically. Like I stay away from using my phone, uh, really nakipagpintuhan, ask questions, etc. Kasi it was also a choice that I made to be with them. 
I also want to cultivate that circle of where in we can just be open on what we feel. Last week, for example, I was talking to one of my best friends and I told him that I had a bit of anxiety, I was feeling sad, and he also shared his struggles as well. More than what we see on social media of being strong, independent, that hustle kind of vibe, feeling through what we feel in the present moment, acknowledging our emotions and working through it is not a sign of weakness. There is a um, there is strength in being vulnerable and being kind and being soft so give yourself that own comfort now you need more than being there for others as well so i mean that's all i wanted to talk with you today um sending you hugs virtually this has been odyssey and i'll see you guys next time ciao